Oh, but Hamas has been sending rockets to Israel for eight years now, right? Yes, Hamas does fire rockets into Israel, and the rockets that do land into Hamas, actual into Israel, are actually in open areas. Of the rockets that Hamas has ever sent into Israel, only one person has been killed. Are the people, the people forced into bomb shelters, right? Why does Hamas bomb Israel? Hamas is for eight for eight years. The only the Hamas the Hamas is the elected government of Gaza. Gaza has been under siege by the Israeli government. The people of Gaza are no are not able to enter or exit that area. You know what's very interesting is that the Israeli government makes it absolutely illegal for anyone to show footage of what a Hamas rocket looks like. And if you videotape footage, you will be in prison because the rockets are so minimal and do absolutely no damage. And they know that if the world were to see what these rockets that come out, these homemade rockets that come out of Gaza would look like, that that would be an issue for them. So it's like a bomb scare. There may not be a big bomb, but if a bomb scare forces everybody into bomb shelters, do you support that? I absolutely do not believe that anyone should live in terror, and I don't support anyone fearing for their life every single day. And I don't believe it's right for anyone to have to be forced into a bomb shelter, but I do not believe that it's okay for Israel to continue to use the rockets as self-defense and go on killing innocent people in that name, and I do not believe that that's okay. Do you believe the people in, uh, of Palestine are oppressed by Hamas? I, I'm not there and I can't speak for them if they're oppressed by Hamas, but from what I understand, I know that the people of Palestine are fed up with Israel saying that they're defending themselves against Hamas, when indeed that's not the case, because the numbers speak for themselves. Over 330 Palestinians have been killed and only one Israeli. I mean, really, who's the oppressor here?